baseball. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a huge outage. It, it's widespread, it's global. It's one of the worst of the entire century. Instagram is down. Okay, so two days ago on my Instagram story, I was talking about the future of social media and the fact that all these big companies, Instagram, Google, own our data. And if we're creators or making content, we are so reliant on the platform that with one simple click, we can be invisible from the web. Now, a lot of people didn't like my comment. And some of you guys were saying that I was a crazy bitch and you know, like that could never happen. Facebook and Instagram are way too big to ever go down. Well, 24 hours later, the server crashed. <laughs> All right, I swear it was a coincidence and I had no partake in that incident, but I actually want to let you guys know, March 13, 2019, it was one of the worst Facebook outages they had. Literally, you can go BBC News. It's the worst outage ever. And this got me thinking. A lot of creators, I believe, are so reliant on the platform that we're not really taking in charge of what happens if social media die. Or most importantly, how are we taking advantage of our data and security because these big companies are a monopoly in the market. I know those were a lot of big words, but I'm gonna pull my hair back because I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions about what you guys can do as creators to better your data, to be more secured and be prepared for the future. So with that being said, we're gonna dive right into your questions. Okay, basically, I'm looking at the questions you guys asked me on Instagram and a lot of it has to do with what's going to happen next. Tell me what's going to happen after Google and Facebook die. So let me set the scenario for you. Right now, social media is monopolized by two main companies, Facebook and Google. We kind of know that, right? The problem right now we're having is everything is free. We get free content, you know, free searches. You can Google something for free. But the problem with that is people think everything is free. But in reality, Facebook and Google are using our data so they can go to advertisers and make money through that transaction. Basically, anytime you see an ad, that's how they're profiting. And basically what we've realized is because Facebook and Google have to make money and they're collecting their data in exchange for free value, it's really centralized and there's only two main powers. So what they're doing right now is also buying small startups. And over time, it's just going to get a balloon effect where there's like only two shareholders, which can be very, very unsafe for, you know, security reasons. Companies are reliant on these two main platforms for money. And if, you know, their server crashes, which fucking happen, or a hacker comes in, these are not really that uncommon possibilities that could really tear down not only their company, but our own brand. If you're curious to know, there's a couple solutions I have to solve this problem, but stay to the end if you wanna learn more. What's next with social media, I think has to rely on two main things. Security, and the second thing is community, where I feel like we're getting so much more less social and just more media, and we need to be more connected together. I feel like, I don't know about you, but if you ever feel scared to post or really just self-conscious about your Instagram feed, you know, that's just, we just have to realize, what's the point of social media then? If we're all so scared to post and we're so fake online, what's the point of communication? This fucking platform, you know, is just to communicate better. And I feel like we've gotten really inauthentic. So that's why the solutions rely in privacy and community. So at Justine Sinek asks, how do you think we're gonna be the next generation of influencers? This is the thing. I don't think Instagram and YouTube are just gonna disappear. This is not a cliff. I'm not saying they're gonna like poof disappear in the next like year. This is a slow steady curve. It's a curve where it's already going to happen where engagement and reach are gonna slowly diminish and attention scarce. And then over time, the platform will be less powerful. I wanna let clear something up. I don't think Instagram and Google are dead at all. They're amazing. I love it. I love social. The problem I just see is just in the next 10 years, where this curve is heading to is where I'm emphasizing. There's power right now, but what about tomorrow? Anyways, going back to Justine's question, if you're a creator or you make content online and you're scared as shit because you're like, fuck, what do I do? Like I was saying on my Instagram story, the best way to solve this problem is no longer having a middleman. Instead of talking to Google for content, what if we're just able to pay our creators directly? And this direct payment can be through, you know, if you watch a video, you just get paid directly like less than a cent. And this has actually been shown True, it's already happening with blockchain. So there's a few social medias called Steam It, I believe, that you basically pay your creators directly. Now I know there's problems with this because one of the questions I got asked by Daniel Grimshaw was, you know, if that's the case, how do we get discovery? Because if we're removing social media, then we don't have attention. So where do we get our discovery? And this is where I'm at, where I'm actually not sure. And I'd love to know your guys' thoughts because the problem right now is just there's just like two companies owning our data. So we should maybe decentralize it and have maybe smaller social medias and just go direct. So what happens is instead of giving power to just Facebook and Google, we can give it to Steam it. We can give it to all these other startups. I'm not exactly sure. Actually, a lot of people are asking this question. Okay, Abby asked, could you talk about building 
building an email list. Yes, I can't. If the solution to this problem is saving our data for now, take your followers and fans and use that awareness you have from Google and Facebook and transfer that into your own email list. And I've done this in the past. So something I do for my clients is I take, you know, awareness from social and convert that into chatbot leads and phone numbers because now you can directly call your customers or audience. And you can use softwares like MailChimp, you know, there's Drip, there's ManyChat, there's Twilio. I'll leave a few in the description box below. And the way you can convert people, if you're curious, Abby, is what I would do is take your followers that you've you know collected and run a giveaway where you give away, I don't know, a water bottle. And in exchange, you have to give me your phone number or email. We're now removing Google and Facebook as the middleman, and you can just go direct by just giving them value in exchange for data. And this way, if we do it right, I feel like we'll feel less dependent on these platforms. Now, there's like a lot of companies already doing this really, really well. I don't want to confuse you guys too much, but the problem right now we're having is privacy and the true community. I feel like more companies are going to start valuing their database, not owned by another company. So we're going to all have a piece of the pie, essentially. And the second trend I see is community-based, where we're no longer just posting public Publicly, but we have you know direct communication to our fans like it goes hand in hand like if you have data of your customers Then you can fucking talk to them better a lot of you guys are fucking sick of an algorithm change And it's just because you're reliant on the platform if you really you know segmented your email list or phone number list You can just you know one day call up Sally from Wisconsin But a lot of you guys don't want to do that because it requires you to actually build relationship so if you guys do want to know more, I have a few videos linked below on how to build a true fan base without that bullshit follow and follow. On this channel, I talk a lot about followers. In the next 10 years, I see followers being irrelevant and it's no longer about how many people can I connect with? It's gonna be how many conversations am I having? I don't wanna fucking like, I don't wanna fucking comment. I wanna really help and impact people. There's way too many influencers that just post pretty ass selfies and blue ass water, but there's not a lot of people actually having thoughtful conversations and using social media like it is. And I feel like a lot of people are really insecure about their feed, not because, you know, it's their fault, it's just because we're trained to post the best version of ourselves. I feel like what we're trying to navigate in society is being more connected and truly not feeling fucking lonely. You know, more than ever, we are connected. We have all the contacts in the world, but we also feel the loneliest as ever. We're in our room scrolling, comparing ourselves on our Explore page, but really we should be using social media like it's for, to connect with people worldwide and to have these conversations. So I know this might be jarring to say this, but I believe in the next 10, 15, 20 years, social media will change. I don't know what Facebook and Google are gonna look like or when they're gonna die, but what I do know is the next social media will have privacy first and community second. And mark my word, if I fucking watch this video when I'm 40, I'm 17 years old, so when I'm older and I watch this video, if I'm incorrect, then so be it. But I just truly believe that we should use social media like it's meant to. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now wait, actually I'm coming out tomorrow with a new video about the future of Instagram and the exact three things you need to know to prepare for the apocalypse of social media. So I'm posting that tomorrow. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and post notifications on. Oh shit, what if there's a server crash for YouTube? All right, scratch that, Never mind. I actually don't wanna leave you guys hanging. So if you wanna see private exclusive content from me straight to your email or phone number, Make sure you click the link below and sign up for my messenger group. Also, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. So basically on my channel, I feature a comment that says a thought provoking topic. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think Facebook, Google, and these big companies will one day die? Or do you think they'll forever reign? Let me know your thoughts in the comment below and I can't wait to read every single comment. I wanna know your thoughts. So let me know what you think. All right, Darmination, I love you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.